Hello YouTube, today I'll be making a very simple tutorial on how to make a uh, loading screen within ready to program Java. So let's begin by creating a new HSA console application, let's call it loading. So essentially what we'll do within this is we'll make a simple message that will appear as a splash screen. So let's say public void splash screen. And then this will send us over to our main menu. So we have public void main menu. And inside here. Okay, so we create a method for the splash screen and we we'll create a method for the main menu. Now, here we're going to create an object of the class. So let's say loading l equals new load. This way we can reference the public methods because they're not static. So let's do l dot splash screen and then let's do l dot main menu. So first of all, we need to make sure the console library is working because we're using ready to program Java. We'll use this to our advantage. Let's declare the console C and within our class constructor, public loading, C equals new console. All right, let's just run this and see what happens. So it just appears nothing happens because of course we didn't program anything yet. So we're gonna go inside here and we're gonna say C line loading. Okay, and then here we're going to say c.println main menu. Now, if we load this, it appears one after the other. So what we have to do is we have to include a try catch. So we do a try and then a catch. And let's just do a general exception e. And inside this try, we're going to do a thread.sleep and let's say 1000. So what this does is it tries to do something and then it catches it. It catches it if an exception occurs. So we're gonna do it create a sleep, which will be a pause for like 1,000 milliseconds, and then after it finishes loading splash screen, so it has to wait one second. It will head over to the main menu, and then inside the main menu, it will load C print line main menu. So let's try this. This is loading, and then main menu. So now we want to clear this after it finishes loading. So C dot clear. So we get a fresh start. Now of course you can start doing graphics also. So let's just try this and see if it works. Loading, main menu. Okay. So we can do like a C dot fill rectangle. We can start at um. Oh, uh, we can add a for loop actually. And then let's move this one. Um, let's move this one. Six hundred forty pixels. And inside here, we're going to make an actual delay inside of it. So let's make this one hundred. Just for now, and we're going to modify this. So essentially, we're going to make like a moving square. So let's begin by setting the color. See, dot set color. And if you're confused as to what I'm doing, please go back and watch my graphics tutorial. So see, dot set color, color dot green. We're setting the color, and then we're going to do see dot fill. See dot. Now you can do fill rect or draw rect. It doesn't really matter. Uh, for this purpose, I'll just use fill rect. And then let's just like zero. And we want the height to be zero. Uh, so we want the height to be 500 and then 0 and then we want the height to be 100. Now since we're going to move this box sideways, this will actually not do much. But if we move it sideways, we're going to type an I here and change this to say 10. And this should move it sideways. So let's try to switch it over to 1. So it says main menu and nothing appears. So now let's just try again. Saying this is 0 to 100. And we can see that the scrolling bar appears. So let's try 400 to 200 and see what happens. And now it appears at the bottom of the screen and then it loads up main menu. So let's try that again. It goes to the edge and then that works. You can essentially modify this to however you want. You can make it a little bit slower. So here it looks like it's actually loading. And then C dot clear will occur. Main menu. Ta da! So now this works. So this is essentially how to make like a splash loading screen within your program in Java. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and stay tuned for more tutorials coming in the future. Thanks for